Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy this video. Please also subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. Also, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. So today's video, I am doing an acrylic fill on my Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. So I did review these tips a while back and um, I haven't used them lately on myself, but um, cause I really haven't been doing my nails as much just being home, um, in quarantine still. So I do want to show that I still use these nails when I do my nails and I still like them. I will link my, um, initial video on these in the cards above. Also, any videos that I mentioned that might not be in the cards will be in the description box below. So any videos mentioned, look in the cards above and then also look in the description box below. But I will link my um, initial Kiara Sky video in um, the description box in the cards above. I will link that in the cards above. So again, doing an acrylic fill on these and... Um, I've already removed the bulk from my nail and pushed back my cuticles. So in this video, I did um, clean off the dust with my Young Nail Swipe and then use my Young Nails Primer. And I'm just going to be using two colors today for my design and encapsulating some of the nails in clear. So i've been doing a lot i've been practicing a lot with my acrylic application on my flexi hand and on nail tips so this is the first time in a while that i've done acrylic on myself and although my application wasn't perfect on myself i have improved a lot and um you already know what i'm gonna say just gotta keep on practicing so if you don't agree with my techniques that i'm using in this video that's fine i'm still a beginner and this is something that i'm still learning and no, I don't do the 2B, 3-ball, 3B method. I just work in small batches of acrylic, um, small beads, um, just because I have more control that way. So this is not a tutorial. This is just a kind of watch me work. So really quickly, I do want to talk about the nude that I'm using. This is Cover Almond by Tones. And when I first got this acrylic, I loved it and it was mainly because I felt well I did see it on other youtubers but once I got it for myself I really liked how it complemented my skin tone since then I've used a few other nude um, acrylics that are a lot easier to work with um, one of which is not polished and I do have a swatch video on that um where i'm i talk a lot in that video about the nudes that that company has another um company that i like working with their nude acrylics is young nails and i do use a lot of young nails products in my videos um and no i'm not getting paid <laughs> for this but these are just things that i prefer to use these are just quality products that are easy to apply for me as a beginner I know a lot of people, and I may have said this before, like as a beginner, you might not want to um, buy more of the pricier acrylics. I think I'm changing my mind on that. I feel like if I'm learning and I'm working with an inferior product, that's just going to slow down my process. I honestly wish I had started my acrylic with better brands. Not that there's anything wrong with a lot of the brands but we all know that some acrylics are better quality so I just say that to say if you can invest in some products that might be um, more pricier or more expensive then definitely like your um, core powders I would invest in that um, it makes learning so much easier and I wish I would have done that so I say that to say this ombre nail is ugly. <laughs> and the ombre nail on my, my right hand, which I did off camera, is ugly too. So I thought I could come in on the second nail and do a bit better of an ombre since I was, um, I did the first hand with my, I used, I'm sorry, I used my non-dominant hand off camera. So I'm like, okay, on camera, I'll use my dominant hand and this ombre will come out better. 
It did not. Um, however, I, I'm going to fix that. The other thing with this nude is I'm working for me. I'm working in smaller beads. Um, so I got a lot of shadowing. You can see where I placed the beads. I really wasn't able to blend this nude the way that I can blend other nudes that I've worked with. So, and the funny thing about it is, is the tones I think actually cost more than the Young Nails um, acrylics, but not more than the not polished. So even in a medium price range, you still get better quality. And for me, I just like the quality of the Young Nails products better. Anyways, I'm rambling. It's like only like four minutes in the video and I'm already rambling. So let me know um, what nudes you guys are working with that are easy to apply, easy to blend. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. My two favorites are Not Polish and Young Nails. Let me know your faves in the um, comments down below. I do like the color options better on Not Polish than Young Nails, but the color options for Young Nails aren't terrible. But yeah, so that's it. And um, <laughs> my application on this, I don't know what was going on, but my nails looked hella bloated. So my application was not the best. So obviously I need to practice more with acrylic on myself because these nails did come out a little bit bulky, which you can fix in filing. And so I'm gonna let you guys watch me apply the acrylic, encapsulate the nails, and then I'm gonna come back um, and talk to you after I have filed and shaped the nails. So I'll just let you guys relax and watch the acrylic application.
Okay, guys, I'm back. So, like I said, the nails I are a little bit bulky, but my two takeaways on this is, one, I didn't flood my cuticles, and two, I did not flood my sidewalls. So, the rest I can fix in filing. Um, I am going to do my filing off camera. So, <laughs> these are the two trash ombres I was talking about. I could not get that cover to blend well at all. So what I'm gonna do is cover that up with transfer foil. And this is how I store all my foils. And um, I do have a video on organizing those and I will link that for you in the cards above. So I'm just gonna go through and pick something that kind of goes with this design. And then I am going to cover up those horrid ombre nails. I use um, the star glue, or it's really just like glue mixed in with water, which is really what I think it is, like regular like glue, elementary school glue. That's my assumption. But um, that's what I use to apply my foil glue. I did do a video comparison. I'm sorry, that's what I use to apply my foils. I did do a video comparison, um, comparing the Model 1's foil glue versus this star glue and I like that star glue um I like the star glue better I will link the foil glue um versus star glue video in the cards for you above so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the two nails I'm gonna use the transfer foil on and I'm going to let that dry and you know that it's dry because it is completely sheer once it's dry so if it still looks white or a little bit opaque that means it has not dried yet while it's drying, I'm just going to see how many nails I can top coat because, you know, just got to keep moving. Don't want to waste too much time. And I don't know what it is. Like once I'm done with the set, like when it's time for me to paint my nails, I'm like, I'm like just ready to get it over with. So, um, I don't know. Are you guys like that too? Like after you've done all the application, the filing, the shaping, maybe it's because my sets are still taking me a while. I'm for this full set it did take about three hours which is such an improvement from me taking the whole entire day to do a full set and then the next day going back and correcting it the only thing I've changed since I've completed this set was on the foil nails on here I do a matte coat so the only thing that I've changed since the video um, since I recorded was changing that matte coat to a shiny coat i do love how matte coat looks matte top coat however i hate the way it feels on my nails um there's just something about it that i just don't enjoy if i could just look at it and not have to feel that texture i think i would be fine um so i am using madam glam's shiny top coat and madam glam's top coat for this video and then i do cure in the lamp my top coats for about two minutes and yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward i do like how this set turned out i do i know that some of the shaping's not perfect but that's really neither here nor there but i think i did pretty good it's been a long time since i've applied acrylic on my nails um so yeah, I do have some mental notes for myself for next time, but definitely I am glad I did experiment with it. And also for people that have asked, yes, you can fill your Kiara Sky tips with acrylic. Um, it's been a week since I recorded, so I'm doing the voiceover about a week later. My nails are still shiny. Um, my nails are not lifting. I do have a little bit of grow out because my nails do grow fast, but um yes you can apply acrylic they're not separating from the nails so this is um something that i made you guys i am um now selling cuticle oils and cuticle butters that i make myself this cuticle butter is made with mango butter side note mango butter does not smell like mangoes um so <laughs> I did go in with a little bit too much, but I just wanted to show you guys like how this butter melts into your skin. It uses the heat from your skin and just melts into your skin. So I, um, 
If you're interested in learning more about my cuticle oils and butters, you can definitely check out my Instagram. You could DM me or you can send me an email. All my information is below. Um, but I definitely will be having a website um, by August 1st where you can see all the different scents I have and then make your purchases there. But if you want to know more, if you're interested in trying it, definitely um, use my information in the description box below and I'm sorry I don't apply it very sexy I'm just like getting that all up in my cuticles and make sure that when you guys are using your cuticle oils and or butters that you apply um, behind your nail as well that skin gets dry as well so definitely um, send me a message if you want to know more about the products that I have right now and I always say that I file off camera, so this is what I use. That is a Pana drill bit. It is medium. I will link that in the um, description box below. And I use my EC basket um, file. I did an unboxing video on that. I will link that in the cards above. I use a 100 grit file, and then I use a 180 buffer. So those are the products that I use to... Um, file my nails not a lot that the cuticle the drill bit is what I use to take off all the bulk so the products I used in this video were tones and cover um cover almond eye gel beauty in purple rain I used clear and young nails madam glam's shiny top coat matte top coat young nail swipe young nails primer and that nail brush is by panna I will leave the links for everything in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know if you're interested in my butters and my oils. And I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Thanks for watching.